What we're seeing in this video is what we call the organogram, which is the module that generates the company structure, the company chart in a matter of seconds. You can run this organogram by clicking on any entity. I'm going to run it on this entity called James Brown and clicking on what is called the organogram. This will generate in a matter of seconds the entire company chart, irrespective of complexity. It will take me through all the structure of how the company is at the moment with James Brown selected because I started the entity on that person. The system allows me to hide any tree structure for printing purposes or removing any entities that I need. It also allows me to click on the details to view the details of the actual entity. The system also allows you to change the direction of the chart. This depends on your preference. So either with the company on top and the UPOs at the bottom, or else flipping it around to make it upside down, having the UPOs on top leading to the company in this case. The system also allows me to print per, for print purposes. The system allows you to input the uh, person who will be signing this um, and Within the print structure, it also timestamps, adds the timestamp uh, based on the signatory of the chart in question, allowing me to view uh, and have the entire organizational chart ready for printing for the auditors. One important feature in the system, the system allows me to backdate the structure of the company to be able to see um, the data of this company and how it was on a particular date. The system will load the entire structure as it was on that particular date. It keeps a full historical audit of anything that changes over time, allowing me to be able to revert to it at any point in time. One very important feature in the organogram is what we call the combined view. And this will show me in this case, since I ran it on James, the full involvement of James across all the organization, allowing me to see a bird's eye view of James's involvement across different companies, different structures, even different services. So in this case, it's showing me that this person is linked as a director under one company. He's also a director under a different company. He's also a shareholder under a different structure in wealth server or wealth management, and also a direct client under retail banking. So this allows me to see the entire spectrum of involvement on any entity at any point in time. Also reducing my risk exposure because this gives me the perception of risk of an entity involved across parties. One last item, the data that you're reading within each entity is also defined and managed through the entire configuration engine within KYC portal.